Hi and welcome back to the drum animation using MIDI. Uh, the previous video you, we were looking at this scratch here and uh, we put in some timing marks. Although it's not moving very much at the moment, um, it's given us these indications along here where, where, where that particular one is. So if we look at the crash, the crash 16 there, you can see the new timing marks in here. Now, it's at this point that we need to start to be a little bit careful. So I'm going to take this through um, maybe two or three parts of this video of this section um, because there's some things you need to do. And one of the most important things here is we need to make sure uh, the perspective view is actually allocated, not the camera. That's a good thing right the way through because we don't want to be able to put anything on the camera timeline that could affect us. So this in perspective view allows us to move everything around here without giving us any problems. Now, another very important point here is that what we're about to do is to put down a track on one that's there already. So if we look here, we've already got the right hand has already got something in it. Now we could end up with a problem here. So what we need to do is do file, save, save scene. And you can see I've saved quite a few along there. Uh, and in actual fact, you should save this scene fairly regularly throughout your animation sequence. It's a good thing to do. But at this point in particular, because we're gonna put it down on the same track here, then we could end up with a problem. Now I'd like to show you what that problem can be, so you, you're aware. If we go along here, at the moment, there is nothing to, to collide here. So as we go along a bit further, we're okay to go. But here, and possibly there, there could be a problem occurring. So I want to put that there for a minute, and I'm going to zoom into that. Now when we were playing about with MIDI health earlier on, this is where I was trying to see if these collisions could occur. By parallel, I mean they're actually in parallel, so everything's happening together. So if we now look at this in more detail. Okay, so that is the crash there. There's the timing. And you can see that it's completely missed it. So if we go along here, that drum is playing here. And that's the last thing it's done. Then there's a nice gap and then it finishes off there. So with a bit of confidence, we can say that in that particular instance, that is the case. Everything is fine. OK, the next possibility would have been here. So we go along to this one here. And we'll open that up. OK. And you can see straight away that 16 inch crash there is not colliding there either. So there's not a problem. Uh, we can see with that with confidence that we're not going to collide. So if we literally lay this one down on top of that one, then we should be fine. And that's exactly what the um, collision function did for us in the Excel spreadsheet I was telling you about. OK, so. That's, that's where we're looking at. So don't forget to regularly save your work and be in perspective view when you're doing all this and just take a bit of care when you're gonna lay down the same function onto the same stick. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do, uh, I'm now going to open this right out again so I can see where we are. We need to put a free space point in there so that we can come back to it. So I'm going to use the drum strip right part of it, not the actual stick. OK, so that's selected up here. You can see that's where it is. So the other thing is I don't want um, any sort of marking up this point. So I'm going to bring this right back and I'm going to put this there just before this sequence is going to start to take effect. OK. And we're going to put down a, a fixed portion in there. So I'll, I'll open that up so you can see it. Now, I'm going to use the arrow up to move the drum across, uh, up and across. Here we go. Uh, OK. There it is. And I just want to roughly position this at the moment. So using this function here, the, the actual loop there to turn it around. So I've now got that into a position 
it looks fairly realistic. Bear in mind how long this guy's arms are, or young lady's arms, whoever's playing it. We now need to bring this down. And you can see that's going through the symbol okay at that point. So the next thing I'm going to do is move this around. And then I'm going to recenter everything. Okay. Like that. And again, we're going to have a look at what that looks like in the 3D world. We're going to turn that round and you can see that's now going through that hit perfectly okay there. Um, and just to make sure, I'm going to come around to this world and we're going to have a quick look at that. Now, you may or may not have seen that it's slightly off. It's not exactly where you would think it would be, but you would get away with that to a degree. But we're going to do another mod in the next bit to try and get that little bit closer to the mark. So at this point I'm going to stop this particular video. So we've got it in free space there. We've got the markings on the symbols as they are. Now if we look over here um, I've got one missing there. So just to make sure I'm going to run through all of these here. And all I'm doing is putting in, taking it out, putting it in, taking it each time I do it. Okay so that's now generated my fixed point in time. I'm going to make that constant. And that's where we're going to stop with this video, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is put the data into that actual strip. Okay, so well, that's where we are at the moment, and we'll finish off with that one. So there's your flash timing, and there's your fixed point in time there. You've got a stray one there. I don't know where that's come from, but that don't need to be there. So anyway, there we go. That's ready for us to start thinking about um, pushing this across. But do bear in mind where the person's going to be sitting. So I'm expecting that hand to be pushed slightly back towards me. So it's going to strike that symbol in the future. And it's going to be a crash now. So it's going to be a fairly wide uh, angle for that to go to. OK, well, we're finished there. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope that's been for some help. Take care now. Bye.